Welcome back to the Sheffield Wednesday career mode here on Dexterity Box within FIFA 23. This is episode 11 and we have started our new championship season. In this episode, we're going to have transfer deadline day and a little bit more to deal with. So we're going to we're going to go through quite a bit of the uh, first half of the window. Most of your suggestions, guys, are going to be coming in from the past couple of episodes that you've been commenting. They're going to all be involved in the winter transfer window. OK, we've already got quite a good squad. And it's looking good on paper for us this season. So I'm not messing with the squad too much, but I am keeping your guys' suggestions in mind and we will make sure we scout them over the next um, episode or so. So, so please do keep them coming. Obviously, a couple of splash screens are coming up from last episode because they came through the messages. Apparently, they're not happy I've let through some of the let go of some of these players, but offer for Campbell. Unfortunately, we are gonna. I'm gonna try and recoup as much money as I can for him. He's just not got any potential, really, has he? We signed him for, what, 150 or something? If I can get 300 back for him now, we'll just take that one as a loss. It didn't work out, did it? Starting this episode with some heavy scout reports by the looks of it. David Espina, 80 overall, fantastic. Um, I'm not going to do it just because of the calibre of the player in the championship. The same with Quintero. I'm going to keep an eye on him, though. Nicolas Janvers, one to keep an eye on just in case we need covering central midfield over the season and he doesn't get a club i am going to sign fraser forster though he's going to be our number two six foot seven he could even be our number one for a season i think he has to be our number one at six foot seven doesn't he i think we br i think we bring him in as our number because cooper's not going anywhere we're still going to develop him so let's try fraser forster for a year six foot seven is the same rating as cooper it's worth a shot why not see if we can get him in on nine grand and 80k Amazing. Fraser Forster is a Wednesday player. On a, He's a veteran now as well, so getting him a uh, veteran player. See if we can get him to have a blinder of a season for us. I'm quite excited by that one. That one could be quite fun. Cooper's obviously the future, but he's 24. There's plenty of time for Cooper. Do we loan Cooper, maybe? Yeah, maybe we loan Co Cooper. Because he's going to keep developing. And he did make some errors last season, some... Not loads, but some from his height. Maybe if we uh, develop his skills around that a little bit more. I'm just going to accept that for Haliti. I might send him on a short loan and then bring him back in January if Forster starts to go on the decline. Cup match against um, QPR. Let's quick sim it, see how we get on. We're still in the cup. Campbell's gone. He wants to stay and not go on loan, but he's got he has he's a keeper. Uh, and he has got he is our future keeper, Cooper. He's the same rating as Forster, but I kind of want a taller keeper just to deal with some of the counter-attacks we've been dealing with this season. I don't know. I, I guess I just want a change in net as well. There is that. Keep it fresh. I feel bad about loading him out. It's... I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I see if we get a loan for him. We might not get one. I got some international players again. Jason Knight for Ireland. Wang Tai for China. Even though he played for England at all the youth levels. Quick sim the match against Swansea City, and it is a 3-1 win for Wednesday. We've got two players called Forster in this squad now, by the way, Fraser Forster. <laughs> oh dear, Wilkes had a value on Forster goals. Transfer deadline day, right. I've got a budget, and you have been suggesting players for the past while in this career, mate. We've got 21 million in the bank. I am going to save it for winter in case we have injuries, but... Again, I'm keeping an eye on these frees in case they're free next season. Here's what's happening. I'm taking Antonio off Leeds. He's on the decline. And we're just, we're doing it, right? We did it last season. He was useless. But he's at Leeds. It's not right. He's 76 overall. Three points. Oh, you feel like you've wasted your time here. Okay. Well, that was never going to happen, was it? It's still not right. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spend money unnecessarily. I'm happy with the squad. We need to also see if I actually can keep my best players. So there's that. We've got to get through this day. That's Haliti out permanently. He was always only going to be a squad player. Apparently my squad left step. Cooper loan offer. Okay, for Bruges. All right, well, he's not loaned to buy, is he? We'll send him on the one year and recall him if we need him. Because I want him to play. I'm not sending him away for any other reason other than the one the wise. I want to use Forrester for a promotion year. Because I feel like this could be a promotion year. Right, I'll take him on a loan. West Brom want to buy Delibash through for 2 million. That's not happening. 
I'm not selling Jay Richardson for that either. I reckon he can really come on for us. I'm going to get him in the um, development hub and work on him. No! Ah! <laughs> They're going to give me 100 million for him, aren't they? Will you do me 95 million with 5%? Because that would be ridiculous for the club. Okay. I don't know if you want to pay that much. Okay, well, the, the price is then 100 million if you don't want to sell on. Because the investment into the club would be ridiculous. I can't say no to 100 million pound in the championship. Nobody can. Look at Bellingham at Birmingham. Didn't he go for like 60, 70? They set him up or something. Like, I can't not. No. But the infrastructure at this club will be ridiculous. Just buy him, please. Buy him and then I can cry and replace him. He's gone. Well, he was... Oh, no, that's Michael Cooper. Two gone at once. We're paying all Michael Cooper's wages, apparently. Yeah, he's gone. But it's £100 million. They can't... They give me a B for that. It's a hundred million. It's a hundred million, man. I could have made seventeen million more profit, apparently. But it's a hundred million in the championship. You, I can't. I could. I just couldn't. I couldn't because now we've got. Obviously, we need to fill that position now, which is where, Brune Larson. You've just got rid of one of your best players. You bring in another one that's been released. He's, he's got to come straight in, hasn't he? And then we can spend the money on the infrastructure of the club, you know. There's a lot there. I am not giving you a release clause. I'm up in my wage bill. I'm allowing 25 grand wages now. <sighs> okay. We've not made things easy for ourselves, but that's a hell of a signing to replace a player like that with, because... We've paid, we've paid him top whack. He's our highest paid player. He's our new star player, basically. Best player in the squad. Oh, he's only 76 overall. They lied to me. Okay, our squad's actually got a lot smaller. I might bring in another player for squad depth. Now, Bulat was a player that you guys suggested to me to bring in as a Bannon replacement. Bannon's obviously retired. Our midfield is quite strong. We've got Deli Bashru in there, but... A 22-year-old Bulat who is still in that age range, and we've just come into some money. It says it would take 13-7. I'm going to try and lowball the 13-7 and see what happens. Okay. We've got it. This is where I am reinvesting the money. Ne ne I don't necessarily need a flare player on that left wing. We've signed. We've, we've, we've sold one, and we're going to sign two. Okay. So we're going to bring Bulat for the future. He's 22 years old. We're building a squad. It's going to be a young squad. It's going to take time, but I like the look of this. This was suggested to me by one of you guys as well, so this is very much your signing, and he's happy to... Yeah, I will remove the bonus, but I'll do that wage. 13 grand a week. That's a steal, actually. Absolute steal. And Bulat is a Sheffield Wednesday player, and that, even though we've not got an 83-rated player in our squad anymore, we probably shouldn't have in the championship, right? Which is why he's gone. We've now got um, two players that are top-end championship quality and will help us get promoted. Okay, I didn't do well. I could, I've overpaid for him. But that's what clubs do when they panic it on deadline day. We overpay. It'll be worth more than that in future, though. Right, so Delhi Basharu is going to drop... Sorry, Backinson, back into the reserves. But that's a bit more squad depth now. And Bulak goes there. Okay. Put some of these players in the development hub as well. I am going to give uh, Delhi Basharu another contract as well. He, what, he, and we can accept rotation. That's going to be good for us, actually. I'm happy to give him a three-year deal because you'd have to do it to keep a play. It's probably a little bit long. I don't know what he just wanted, actually. But I'm happy to put him on 10 grand with an 80 grand signing bonus. Amazing. Jason Knight's only 23. We've got a good meal, midfield at the minute. Time to give Malik Wilkes some incentive. His contract's running out this year. We can't let him sit in that... Um, Will he take important? No, there's no way. Can't let him sit in limbo. We can't 
risk that with Malik Wilkes. We've just got money for a player. We we tie a player like Malik Wilkes down. He only wants two years extension. Get him on a three. And then if we do sell him, oh, we hold all the cards, don't we? 18 grand. I'll accept that. Good player for us, obviously. One of our stars. Michael Smith's retiring, by the way. So last season to see him make a few appearances for us. Yeah, let's round out this uh, deadline day here. Offer for Deli Basharu. No, I don't, I don't need to sell any players. I've just put the club in a financial position. This is going to be quite good for us going forward. I'm not even going to sell Backinson because he's a good squad player. We need all the depth we've got at the minute, to be fair. And that is transfer deadline day over. I've just won manager of the month, so we're losing our next match. I'm going to release some of these players that are just not doing well enough in the academy. So here's where the money's going to go. The first thing we're going to go into is ensuring that we can bring through youth talent like that again in the youth academy, which means... Spending quite a bit on youth scouts. So three and a half million per scout is something we do. We bring the team in and make sure we can look pretty much everywhere for these younger players. Gonna fire him, bring in an entirely new scouting team. We'll wait until there's somebody a bit better available. And I'm gonna set up a scouting network in England. We're gonna look for nine months for any, so we're gonna constantly be looking. We're also Going to look for technically gifted players in somewhere like Spain, because that's usually a good place to do it. We are looking at turnover, basically, in the Youth Academy now. Uh, we've got a five-star scout there. No, it's four and... Only four... Right. I don't need him anymore. I'm going to recall him. Let's bring in Ollie Gardner. There we go. That's a five-star scout. I think Robert Skov, remind me when we get to the next window, he's probably a player that I'm going to try and bring in because he's got the free kick trait. He's 75 overall at Palace. If I can buy him, he can take our free kicks. Canada want me to be their manager? No, thank you. Be a lovely job, I'm sure. See how we get on against Cardiff on the simulation. Knights away on international duty. 3-2 win. So, Bulat, Rafa and Wilkes. Who's Rafa? Who's nicknamed Rafa? Who's called Rafa? Is it Brune Larson? Oh, Rafael, it's it's Holhauser coming on off the bench and getting us goals. All right. Oh, we got Leeds in the cup. I'm simming to it. We've just lost against Norwich, but oh, we lost against Stoke as well. Stoke and Norwich. Right. I should have probably played that Norwich one. So we're still in the, the cup here. I might go for it, you know, and try and um, get us as far as we can. I've not beat Leeds yet. If we can knock them out of the cup, that would be ideal. Let's try it. I'm playing the first team because we've got through the first two rounds. This is the third round of this cup we've played of the League Cup. Let's see how far we can get. And I'll try out this team as well. Brune Larson. Still got to remember I'm playing Leeds and they will. Yeah, Antonio's up front for him still. Torre with the interception. Bula. See how good he is. That's a ball through though to Adebayo. Can't keep it within his feet. Press Meslier. I've just let them through there. Forced to collect. Oh, what a through ball that is. We're still in. No. Dallying on the ball. Cost us there. Tried to shift his body weight and get a shot across, but he just wasn't balancing well there. Oh, God. They go for the long shot. But Forrest is tall enough to be able to just collect that. Ideal. Brune Larson. I'll plays it up in the air for Aina. Aina whips across through. Can we get ahead on it? Adebayo! The keeper didn't do amazingly well from that. Fumbled it a little bit. Nearly in. Bula. Bula, has he got finesse on it? What a goal! Who is this man? One of your suggestions has just curled an amazing finish into the top corner. I know he had the... Um, he had like the power shot trait or something, but look at this. The curve. One nil up. All right. Bulat. Good suggestion. Appreciate it. However, we could mess this up if Antonio gets through there, Torre. Getting better as his rating increases. Forrester collects. In no rush. We've now, now only got one player called Forrester in the team again, by the way. We just saw one for a hundred, a hundred million pounds. Are we going to retire the number? <laughs> what did we give him? What did we see the number? Um, he went the number nine, was he? He was the number 11, uh, 45. Are we finally retiring the number 45? 
We'll do what Birmingham did for Bellingham originally. Maybe it is time we retire the number 45. Torre. Been a bit of a beast this game so far. Had a bail to Brune Larson. There's a ball on there, Brune Larson. Ah. I tried to react too quick and he hit it off balance and then just went anywhere it wanted. Oh, what a save from Forrester there. One for the cameras by the looks of it, to be honest. He could have used his uh, near hand, but he went over the top. And collects. We'll take that to half time. Amazing. 1 0 up at half time against Leeds. We've not beat him in this career yet, so knocking him out of the cup would be all right. Knight dispossesses here. Adebayo takes his time with his options, but Wilkes is through. Wilkes lays it on for Knight. Knight, he's got time. Oh, God, he hits the post. I thought that was in. I was like, what a lovely bit of build-up play. And we hit the post. Uh-oh. Leads it through. Forrester. What a keeper this man is. Uh-oh. Some bad passing, that, really. Switching off a bit defensively. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. But Aina dispossesses like nobody's there. Calm as you like. Oh, that's... I could track where that was going and just couldn't stop it. Antonio, please stop. Or... What's just happened? <laughs> the player just, like, got warped out the way. FIFA, man. No, if they score from this now, get off, Antonio. Knight gets added by O3. Wilkes, can Wilkes do a Wilkes special? Hits it in the left-hand corner. Malik Wilkes on the counter-attack. That's more like it. No FIFA glitching involved there. They're going to hyper-motion this one. It's left me loads of space to just think, right, we'll use his weak foot and it still works. Good interception from Torrey. And then loses the ball because I try and be too clever. What a save, Forrester. They finally took Antonio off so he can't score against me again. This game, anyway. We've still got lead. It's twice in the league. Knight plays it to Wilkes. Still on here. I try to dribble it all the way through. Oh, he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty for some off ball. That's oh, soft, that is. That is soft. Great. You're going that way. Oh, Forrester. Legend. Play it up. Holhauser. Oh, we can counter him here. Could we finish him off? Brune Larson's through. Brune Larson. You know what? Go for the pass. Smash it in, Knight. Forestieri. Rings of Dini. That a little bit, doesn't it? From the penalty. Counter attack. Wilkes. Tardy Bayo. Can we get a fourth? A fourth would be disgusting. But Knight's fancying it today. We've got a fourth. They've not turned up in the cup. We have. They deserve this. Batted me last season. Both games. But we've got a squad now. Some of our attacking play was world-class. I agree, Darren. Knight actually coming into it. He could have had an hat-trick, to be fair. Back down to earth on a simulation against Preston in the league? Maybe? Nope. Three... Ni three. The league is ours, guys. It's, it's not. There's too many good teams in this league, but we, we, we should be getting playoffs. I'm feeling good. Let's have a look at some of these monthly reports then. So we've got some out in Spain. Trash. Trash. Good, but no. Okay, no... Nothing amazing on that first Spanish report. The English one. No. 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 Wednesday against Luton Town. Just throw the same 11 out. See what happens. 2-1 win. Adebayo and Knight. We're finding our feet now. Where are we? We're second on 24 points. This is good. I like this. This feels so much better than the pain of the first few seasons. And no, I don't want to manage Finland. Thank you, though. Quick sum against QPR. Do we keep the good feeling going? 2 0 win. Yes, we do. Adebayo is getting them goals. He must be on some good numbers now. Huddersfield tend to beat me on the simulation. I think we can get something there. We've had an international break, so. And Huddersfield are on 24. Yeah, they're around us, actually. 
Can we get the result here? No, Tom Lee's scored the winner against Wednesday. Of course he did. Of course he did. He's a centre-back. Forrest has slightly declined to 74, but that doesn't stop Brune Larson and Rafa getting us a 2-1 win over Peterborough. Second still. While we're doing this well, I'm going to keep Sim in the league games and getting as far as possible. Adebayo and Wilkes, 2-1 over Middlesbrough. This team are kicking on. Okay, round of 16 against Crystal Palace. I'm going to play it because we are going for the cup. I'm going to slightly alter the team a little bit. So for the likes of, I'm going to put a cup keeper in until the final, uh, until the semis now, just to give Blackman a game. He's also six foot six, so he's not going to be garbage. I need to rest some players, really. We've got enough substitutions, though, for me to get away with um, rotating this squad round when I need to and bringing in some midfield players. So we'll go with that. We'll just change the keeper for now. And hopefully he doesn't have a shocker. Oh, they're attacking straight away, Palace. And we missed with the tackle. Blackman gets it. Good interception. Bula to Wilkes. Wilkes with the skill. Wilkes with the score. Oh, come on, Wilkes. What a save. He's just... He's so good. He's so good. Bruno Larson to Adebayo. Adebayo lays it off for Wilkes. Wilkes takes one, hits it with his right foot. What a goal that is. He's left-footed, guys. And that's with his right. Malik Wilkes. Since League One... Doing bits for us in this career. That's a finishing half, that is. Straight round. Smashes it with the right. I can't believe them. The, there's, there's been no offers for Wilkes, by the way. None. Since uh, the first season. Good defending. What defending that is? Even with a little dummy. They are playing their first team. They've got Ayo on the wing here. Oh, I thought he'd got it all the way through there. We were... Open at the back post. Luckily, nobody was there to finish it off. Britain. To Wilkes. Wilkes beats one. And then lays a through ball for Adebayo. He's going to try and beat one himself. He does just that. Left foot around over the bar. Not bad. It was must have got a deflection. Bulat. Tonight, I'm going to go for one. No, I'm not. That was atrocious. Wang Tai can actually run back to things. Which is great. Careful. 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 Good save. Keep it going. Get it out. That's better. Hang on. Counter-attack could be on here. Play it through nicely. Bar laser. Adebayo. Just the one to beat. That's a hell of a heavy touch, but... Good save from the keeper. That would have been a hell of a counter-attack, that. Wilkes. Ends up... Yeah, that's scrappy, that is. Don't let him counter here from it. That's exactly what you're going to do, isn't it? You just let him split your centre-backs apart. Get off! Panicking. Panicking in the defence. That's in. Okay. Now you're coming through like a bullet. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise I could do that. Half-time 1-1. Okay. Bullet header from Ayu. We've been on top of him apart from that. I was hoping to be a couple of goals up because my team are quite tired. But getting Wednesday into the later stages of a competition would really show we mean business in this career. Brunel Larson, back post, Wilkes with a brace. Cross across the box. We don't do that often. One, box, um, one side to the other with a cross. Winger's going for it. Bar lasers tie. We will bring on Dele Bashiru. And he was there. Too easy for him. Could he get an hat-trick in the cup? In the round of 16, we will see. Uh-oh, they're splitting. But Aina's too pacey for them. I'm going to bring Michael Smith on. I don't care. He's going on there. Um, bring Richardson on that wing because we've got some very tired players here. I offer on for Torre. And then we should have one more change if we need to make it. Brune Larson. What was that? He does recover well. He's not got the skill to flick it over people, though, very well. Billy Bashru collecting. Knight. Can you see the runner Smith? Oh, that nearly got through. I still trust Michael Smith in his retirement year. That'd be amazing. Can you imagine if we did go far in this tournament and Michael Smith got to lift the League Cup? And we would be keeping our record of being the last team outside of the top flight to do it. 
because Wednesday were the ones to do that last, if you didn't know. Too many options for him in the box there. Oh, good save, Blackman. Okay, he's crying about not playing, and then he passes like that. They are really throwing pace into their counter-attacks now. I offer clean up. Got space for a counter if we can get players in support. I'm waiting for the support to arrive, and it's just not arrived. So we'll dink it to Aina there. He's not got the pace to see this through. Oh, we've still got it, though. Somehow. Michael Smith. Oh, I thought he was going to get it there. I was ready for another Smith goal. It didn't quite happen. Right, we'll bring on Hellfizer. Look, ah, uh, poor Smith. Deserved it. Wilkes. Wilkes on for his hat trick, but we'll try and be a little bit more delicate with that. Can we hold out? Just pass it round a little bit. We're very tired, but just pass it round. That should be it. Yes! We are through to the next round of the League Cup. What a team we are building here. I will take that. Even just getting this far, that's, that's good. So it could be Liverpool, West Ham, Forest, City. All right, yeah. Oh, there's obviously some matches to be played, so we'll see. It's going to be a big one next, isn't it? Big test. More scouting reports coming in for the younger ones. 400k, we'll give him a try. Oh, no, 17. That was a bad purchase. 45 at 15 is one to bring in. 400 at 17. I've done it again. Maybe we'll see. The English players, 500k, we'll do that. No, the rest aren't good enough. Match against West Brom. Can we follow the momentum on a simulation? Probably not. Oh, yeah, we can. 2 1 win, Adebayo and Brune Larson. What a team! Blackburn. See how we get on. Brune Larson. Forster, who, by the way? Just saying. We replaced him and look what his replacement's doing. Okay, now he's happy. I want more from you, lad. We're still second. Match against Birmingham ends in one all. Okay, we dropped to third there. We have got a game in and in Bristol City who um, who are on the same points as us. Jeff United are only on 27 points and they are our next match with our form currently. I'm quite excited about that one. They're having a go at me about youth development again. Of course they are. Let's just have a quick check on the squad. So Adebayo has gone up one there to 77. Great signing he was. Tory up to 74. Forrester stayed at 74. He dropped from 75, but that's fine. Bula up to 77 there. Brune Larson up to 78. Okay. A bit more where we thought he would be. Cooper stayed at 75. It says up one, but he already got that before he left. Jamas is still improving on loan. Phillips is still improving slightly. Bourne's improving, but Jordan's staying quite still at ranges at the minute. Mike Smith down 65. It's all right. It's fine. Balogun up one on loan. Okay. So let's have a quick look at the calendar before we wrap up today. So we've got United, which we'll obviously play. And Barnsley are back, so that might be a fun one to play. Then we'll probably sim most of those. We'll probably sim the away leg, uh, play the away leg. And we will play, obviously, Man City in the Cup. Of course we've got City. We've <laughs> of course we've got City in the next round of the Cup. So next episode is going to be a couple of, well, our derby and then Barnsley and then City in the Cup. And then we've got January. So I don't know if there'll be too much spill into them. And it might spill into the transfer window. So I guess this is a great episode to get some of your comments in about who you think we should sign in this winter window. Do we even need to sign anyone? Do we, We've got money. Is it more investing in the future than... Because that squad, I'm happy with it at the minute. If you look at that, where do we need to improve? I don't know. You wouldn't say we did. Maybe maybe an improved squad would help us challenge for the title, but I can see why the board put the objectives high. But I'm very happy with the way today's episode's gone and the way this team is shaping up. We are, we're on for a very high finish. We've nearly got as many points as we had last season after 18 games. So that's pretty amazing. Make sure you keep your input in this channel consistent and get those comments in for what you want to see. Also, make sure you're keeping an eye on the community tab for if we've put a player of the season or any awards for the players in here. If we put a poll out for any of those, make sure you're keeping an eye on those and you've voted. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.